Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about the Moderna vaccine, the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine, which is an mRNA vaccine, uh, which is approved by FDA for emergency use. So let's talk about it. In this video, we are going to talk about Moderna vaccine and Moderna vaccine's use, Moderna vaccine's side effects and when to use it, where to use it, who can use it, who should not use it and so many more about Moderna vaccine. So let's begin. Who should get the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine? The answer to that is pretty simple. FDA has authorized the emergency use of this Pfizer BioNTech Moderna vaccine for COVID-19 under I mean, anyone individuals above 12 years age or older. So if your age is 12 years or more, you can take it. Who should not take uh, the Moderna vaccine? Then the answer is you should not take it if you had a severe allergic reactions with any previous doses of this vaccine or had a severe allergic reaction to any ingredient used in this vaccine. That gives us the third question. What are the ingredients used in the Moder Moderna vaccine? And let's see the list of the ingredients used. Generally, it's a mRNA vaccine. So obviously the messenger ribonucleic acid, the messenger RNA is used for uh, which actually encodes the coat uh, spike proteins of uh, the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Apart from that, there are subsidiary element like uh, lipids. Uh, there are plenty of examples like polyethylene glycol and cholesterol and so many more. And there are uh, tromethamine. There is a use of tromethamine hydrochloride, acetic acid sodium acetate trihydrate as well as sucrose all these things are used how is the moderna covid 19 vaccine given uh, this vaccine is provided intramuscularly im uh, injection okay it's pretty straightforward generally given in the detroit muscle the moderna vaccine is provided in two doses given in one month apart duration so what are the benefits of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine? The answer to that means, you know, how much the efficacy rate and how long this Moderna COVID-19 vaccine is going to protect you. The simple answer to that, the efficacy rate of Moderna COVID-19 vaccine is 94.1%, which is a pretty good efficacy rate. And the duration of the protection against the COVID-19 that this vaccine is going to provide you is currently unknown as the clinical trials are going on. What are the risks of Moderna COVID-19 vaccine? That means the side effects. Injection site reactions include pain, tenderness, swelling of the lymph nodes uh, in the same arm of the injection. Swelling means hardness and redness in that area. Apart from that, the general uh, problems that may be associated with fatigue, headache, muscle pain, joint pain, chills, nausea, fever, vomiting. And apart from that, sometimes there are also specific uh, hypersensitivity reactions or allergic reactions. If you have this allergic reaction, then you may, ha may have difficulty breathing, swelling of your face and throat, which is known as anaphylactic reaction, then a fast heartbeat, a bad uh, rash all over your body, dizziness and weakness. Will the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine give me the COVID-19? If this is your question you ask, then the answer is definitely no. The Moderna COVID-19 vaccine does not contain SARS-CoV-2 uh, active element so obviously it will not give you COVID-19 disease. Now I'll see how exactly this mRNA vaccine work against the COVID-19 disease against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. So now we are going to see how exactly the mRNA vaccines work. There are plenty of mRNA vaccines but now we'll see how they all generally function. Okay. Now we know that the vaccination process triggers our immune system to produce antibody without being affected by that infective agent or infectious agent. So in this case of mRNA vaccine, be it Moderna vaccine or Johnson & Johnson vaccine or any other mRNA vaccine, uh, the process is simple that the vaccine itself, let me write, the vaccine itself contains mRNA as an active ingredient. Along with mRNA, there are different fat molecules, uh, sucrose and many other things are there. But actually, it's the mRNA which we, act, which we are looking for, right? which, we, which will actually instigate our immune system to produce antibodies. So, this mRNA is present there. Okay? The mRNA encodes for the spike proteins. Spike protein. Okay? Spike protein is not itself harmful. Okay? It's the spike protein means normally if I draw the virus, the virus, and the spike proteins, remember if you see the picture of the virus, you know there are spike proteins coming out. The spike protein interacts with the receptor of our cell surface so that the virus can be internalized inside our cell. So we just take the 
mRNA that makes the spike protein because mRNA is coded into protein via the process known as translation. So the mRNA that makes the spike protein that's what we take. And now this mRNA is inserted in our body intramuscularly through muscle okay here for example you take the injection mRNA is inserted mRNA for the spike protein is inserted. So now what will happen is that the cells will take up this mRNA immune cells our immune cells let me draw the cells our immune cells with uh, the green color our immune system cells take up this okay any kind of I am not specifying any let us talk about any kind of immune cells in the body okay I am not specifying anything. So immune cells take up this uh, mRNA and the moment they take up this mRNA they make the protein they make the spike protein here. And once the immune cells start making the spike proteins, they know that this protein is uh, not our own body protein. And the immune system has this special sense of detecting what is self, what is non-self. Okay? And once they make this protein, the spike protein, they immediately know that this is a non-self protein. This is not a self protein. So they destroy itself. So what they simply do is that normally there are specific immune system cells okay now normally if no body cells take up this mRNA they will make this protein and after making the protein the cells die and this protein components are floating now in the body and there are other immune systems cells in our body who can take up this protein and showcase this protein for example let me draw another immune system uh, cell here just a minute this is another immune system cell and this immune system cell is engulfing this protein inside first they, they will take this protein inside first and then they will showcase this protein outside to rest of the immune system it shows that look what I got I got something which is not ours which is outside of ours coming in from outside that means that must be some infection there must be some virus there must be some bacteria okay this kind of immune system cells are known as antigen presenting cells we are not going into the details there but these cells when they showcase this the fragment of spike protein which is known as antigen here okay whenever they showcase this then the whole immune system will come into the action they will be in contact with this cell showing the antigen and they will they try to recognize what kind of protein it is what kind of protein where, what is the source and based on this protein's nature they will signal the immune system again this was the cell mediated this is the cellular mode of immunity they will signal the humoral mode of immunity particularly here to produce antibody specific specific antibody against this antigen in this case the spike protein. So now this antibody y shaped structure I told you earlier this antibody they can bind to this antigen specifically and antibody are named after them like antigen means antibody generator. Okay, so because this antigen whenever it comes inside our body antibody will be produced they are antigen generators the moment our body receives this antigen uh, antibody generators or antigens the antibody will start being produced by B cells of our immune system and the B cells are converted to what is known as plasma cells and this plasma cells are the factories that are producing the specific antibody against this antigen this spike protein and whenever they produce this not only the plasma cell will produce the antibody but also they will keep this as a memory for future purpose whenever in future times we receive this spike protein from outside directly for example via uh, the coronavirus infection okay anyway we took this anti let's say we took this uh, why this drug will protect us because let's say we took this uh, mRNA vaccine uh, two months back so we have the antibodies build up in our body. Now after two months uh, the coronavirus infects us. The coronavirus also have this spike proteins and any other protein coming in our body. And now our body recognizes a spike protein instantly as a foreign because now they already know what kind of protein it is. It's not non -self, it's not self, it's a non-self protein and they know that the specific antibody, which specific antibody to produce. Now the antibody will be present for months to come, four months, five months, six months, eight months, ten months, depending. We don't know exactly for how long it's going to protect us because the antibody will be there. But apart from the antibody, the memory cells will be there. Even after years, once the antibody is depleted, but still the memory cells are there, memory cells will be staying there for a long period of time that whenever there is the same viral attack 
this memory cell start producing the same antibody without wasting time so the response will be very fast so even if you in, you get infected in future but the response of your body will be very fast that will protect you against that viral infection that's how this mrna vaccines work okay direct now the thing is the mrna vaccines don't directly use the coronavirus sars cov 2 here but they use only the mrna that codes for the spike protein so once you take the mrna vaccine you are not getting the sars cov 2 infection so don't be in the misinterpretation okay so that's it now if you want to know more about this moderna covid 19 vaccine you can simply scan this qr code and it will be redirected to the page and the details of this vaccine is drawn from the cdc website so you can watch the cdc website for the moderna vaccine that's it if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel to get more and more videos like that in future thank you bye